welcome to the Lumi Knits podcast. You can find me on Ravelry at Lumi Knits X, I think, and on Instagram at Lumi.Knits. I'll link below because it might be a bit tricky. Anyway, this is my first podcast. Thanks for joining me. I'm here to talk about mostly knitting today, but a little bit of sewing and just to really introduce myself and get going with my podcast. The reason I really wanted to make this podcast is because I actually have a finished object and it doesn't happen as often as I'd like. So I thought I would strike while the iron is hot. At the moment, I'm wearing it. Um, I wore it yesterday. As soon as it finished blocking, I wore it today and there's a fair chance I'll wear it tomorrow. I absolutely love it. So this is the Soldotna Crop by Boylan Knitworks, Caitlin Hunter. Um, I made it in a size five, I think. I don't remember the measurement. And I knit it in Cleckheaton Country 8 ply, which is a DK weight for the people that don't measure in ply. Can't remember the names of the colors. I don't think they actually had names. I think it was just numbers. Brown, light green, green, green. So this took me nearly two months to do. Um, the color work has come out beautifully. I was, this is my first full color work project and I'm very happy with it. I was able to keep a fairly even tension throughout. The only place that there was a little bit of unevenness in the tension was across here. It gets a little bubbly in places, but in general, the blocking just completely settled down all of the color work and it's nice and even. It doesn't pull, the floats aren't too long. I'm really happy with it. It's a bit hard to see because of the light, but um, you can see up here the neckline. This is a heavily modified neckline. I had a lot of trouble with the pattern when it came to the neck, and I wasn't super impressed that with a paid pattern, the neck was so different to the photos, but that's a common complaint with this uh, pattern. This was my third attempt at the neckline. The original gave me a complete funnel neck, so it was almost, it came up to almost about here. Um, very uncomfortable. I don't like things tight around my neck, so I had to rip it back. I think I got perhaps to about there in the color work, tried it on, and I just couldn't cope with the tightness around the neck. So I ripped it out. Um, I tried a set of modifications I found in the comments. That didn't work for me either. I can't remember why. I think it was just um, it made it way too big. And then I found another set of modifications in the actual Boiler Knit Works um, forum, I think it was, and that really, really helped. So all the notes are in my Ravelry page for this knit. Um, but once I got that knit line under control, I just absolutely loved knitting this. I love the finished garment. It's great for this trans-seasonal weather. I can throw it on over a long sleeve or I can wear it over a singlet or a dress. Um, I've just been wearing it over a long sleeve with high-waisted jeans and it's great. If I get hot, I just take it off. Um, if I get cold, I put it back on. Surprise. <laughs> so I'll stand up so you can see the length. It kind of hits just at the top of the waistband of my jeans here. It blocked out a little wider than what I expected. But I'm okay with that. Um, it just means that if I have a big dinner, I'm still going to be able to wear it without too much trouble. <laughs> Not that it would bother me that much anyway. But ta-da, finished object. That's my third one this year. But in fairness, the other ones were all pretty much finished last year. I'll take what I can get. So... I have so many works in progress. It's not funny. I'm not going to show them all. A lot of them are hibernating. Um, I'm knitting a penguono for myself by Stephen West. And it is so big that the only place that I can knit it is in bed because it is enormous. And when I try to knit it, it is so warm that I, I just, it needs to be colder for me to work on that. So that's been hibernating all summer. Um, I'm also working on a penguino for a baby niece or nephew who is due in May. I'm very excited about the birth of the baby, but also to be able to give it a cute little penguino um, cardigan. I'm knitting a mullet skirt for my daughter and I feel like I've been knitting it for a really long time. And every time I think about picking it up, I just, I just don't want to. So I'm not sure if 
perhaps I've put enough time into it and it's time to let it go, maybe pull it back or if I should continue. But at the moment it's kind of languishing at the very back of my trolley of works in progress. I'm also working on a panorama shawl stole, which has been super fun because I'm knitting the basic pattern, but I've put in bobbles, which was great when the rows were about that long and I had to do about 10 bobbles, but now the rows are getting longer and longer and I'm having to do about 10 million bobbles, but it looks super cute. I'm holding um, a DK weight with a mohair and it's, it's just coming up so cute that I can't not continue with that. So that's one that I just kind of pick up and put down when I've got the, the bandwidth to be able to think about how I'm doing it because I am adding in extra features, so not following the pattern completely. Uh, my latest cast on and my real sort of pet work in progress at the moment is my Felix cardigan. Um, I'm knitting this in a bulky weight yarn from Bendigo Woolen Mills. So it's the 12 ply. It's from their rustic range, which I love. And it's in the colorway mustard, I think. Oh, no. I just realized my exhaust fan's on the whole time. Ugh. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going because I feel like I've come a pretty long way. So the Felix. I'm up to, I've done four rows of the raglan increases and I love the fabric that it's creating it's super squishy and beautiful and I think this is going to be a really nice garment when it's finished I my gauge was a little out and there are a number of reasons I didn't change needle size the first one is I hate doing gauge swatches the second one is the next needle up is in use on my penguino and I don't want to go and take it off there just in case it gets really cold and I need to knit on that to keep warm. <laughs> um, and the third reason was I just, I really like the fabric that this has created. So I knit a size larger than what I was going to knit, which is, a, I'm knitting a size 48. I was tossing up between the 48 and the 43.5. And I've decided to go with the 48 just to give it that little bit of extra room to account for the difference in gauge. I think I was one stitch per four inches out. So it should bring it down to around the 44 inch bust measurement. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I've got some beautiful mother of pearl buttons that I um, ordered when I ordered this yarn last year. And I'm just really excited to be getting going on this. It knits up super quickly because the needles, I don't know if I said before, I'm knitting it on a six millimeter higher, higher interchangeable. Um, and it's just, it's so quick. Um, even the pearls are quick. Um, I'm not a person who doesn't like purling. Purling is fine for me. I enjoy it just as much as I enjoy knitting. I'm not as fast, but I'm not really a speed demon in any aspect of my life, so I don't see why my knitting should be any different. Um, yeah, so that's my Felix. I feel like I'm about halfway through one ball already. I've only got four balls in total, so hopefully I have enough. They're 200 gram balls, so that's that's a lot of wool, but we'll see. Bendigo Woolen Mills, Rustic, Mustard, 12 ply, 6 millimeter needles, Felix sweater. Everything you need to know. Oh, and my yarn bowl, I got it at the op shop, which is like a thrift store, for $2. And it is the best thing that I've ever bought at an op shop. I use it every day and I love it so, so much. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I also love to sew. I'm not great at it. I am a much better knitter than I am a sewer, but I really like the almost instant gratification of sewing compared to knitting. I tend to stick to really basic patterns. Um, at the moment, I've got a bit of a thing for the hinterland dress by Sew Liberated, but not with plackets. No plackets here. Um, I basically just fold the bodice over and make it into like a tank top and sew a skirt on, give it big deep pockets, and that's kind of my jam anyway, so it's it's great for me. I'm going to do another one in a kind of mustardy colour, because I'm into mustard at the moment, as you can probably tell. But what I am working on with my sewing at the moment is the Wayfarer Slipper by Twig and Tail. 
I bought the set that has the adult and child set set the adult and child patterns um, because I think it was twenty four dollars. And if I go and get a cheap pair of slippers from the shop for my children, it's going to cost me twenty four dollars for two pairs. So I might as well make them using some of the stuff I've got lying around here. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm cutting out um, the adult size for myself to start with because I thought it might be easier than doing sort of a fiddly little slipper, doing just a bigger one, having a go at that. And yeah, so that's what I'm working on with my sewing. I just forgot with the knitting, I was going to talk about the sweater that I'm planning for my son. Um, it's based on Caitlin Hunter's Feel the Burn sweater, which is essentially the same as the Sol Dotner crop, um, the same pattern but with a different colour work motif based on Bernie Sanders' you know, famous mittens. And I'm going to incorporate that into the Tin Can Knit Strange Brew sweater recipe. Top down, not bottom. Can't handle that. Oh, gave me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about knitting a top up, bottom up. Ugh. Anyway. I'm going to do it in a dark green, light brown, gold, and mid-brown, dark brown? Dark green, dark brown, mid-brown, and gold are the colours that I've chosen. And because, as I mentioned, I do not like swatching, I'm going to try and do a beanie using the motifs from the colour work pattern and use that as my swatch. And also basing it on what I know from doing my Soldatna um, about needle size and that kind of thing. So I need to get started on it because I've recently finished a jumper for my daughter and now my son is getting a bit pushy that he wants his one in the works. So that's my next project. Anyway, I think that's everything. I'm not sure if I mentioned that we're moving. So this is kind of a temporary workspace. Um, when we move to our new house, I am going to have my own office where I'll be able to have all my things kind of where I want them. Nice big comfy chair for knitting. I can't wait. It's about three weeks away and it cannot come soon enough. But I'm really glad that I got this podcast recorded. Hopefully the exhaust fan noise isn't too awful and I didn't talk too quickly. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening to me talk about my favorite things to do it's been really fun even though it's just me talking to a camera anyway i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are i hope the sun is shining if that's what you want i hope the birds are singing and you're well and healthy and doing something that you love to do as well so thanks bye <laughs>